Brr, New Era. Run that. Hey, brr, it's Pooh Shots. We checking in with DJ New Era. Go get that allegation. How the thing got? With AHA Radio. Brr. Oh, here come Mr. Shots. Down who they can't wait to see. Active in them streets. When shit go down, they quick to say it's me. Wait on my response, but all I got to say is keep it G. I ain't no sense of speaking on the dead, but may he rest in peace. Can't try what they feel. All right, back again, New Era TV, iHeart Radio, 104 on the beat. 1017 in the building. Pooh Shiest is in the building. What's up, homie? What's going on? First time in the city, man. Yeah, most definitely. How I feel, brother? I feel good. We straight down here. I see your 1017 chain, man. How'd that come about? Right. Put that together. Wop hit me up. We put it together. Okay. Yep. How was it meeting Gucci Man for the first time? It was gangster. I liked it. Good dude. Yeah, most definitely. How many records can we expect with Gucci Man in the future? Too many. <laughs> Too many. So you the first new artist on the label he signed? Uh, nah. The Who? first artist was uh, Fujiano. Okay, so how did Wap find you? Uh, through Instagram. Instagram. Yep. He reached out well, to you he himself? He one of my songs on YouTube and hit me on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, he reached out himself. And you from Memphis, right? Yeah, I'm from uh, South okay. Memphis. South Memphis. So... How's your relationship with Dolph and um, Glock them? My people. Okay. Can yeah. we expect some records with them? Yeah, for sure. Most what's it? What's it like growing up in Memphis? Like like anywhere else, you know, we got your ups and downs. What you make it, but right. Memphis right. dangerous though. Okay. So take me yeah, through a day yeah, in the yeah, life man. when it comes down to you recording your records, man. What you mean? Like how my day start how off? How your day start off? Blowing, wake up blowing, <laughs> no brainstorming. <laughs> then I get myself right, hit the yo nighttime, I'm a night crawler. How long you been rapping? For like a year and a half now. So you fresh with it? Other, yeah, like consistent. Okay. Because yeah. I checked your numbers out, man. Um, The record that caught my attention was the, the main slide. It's got all. Yeah, I got signed. This the only song Gucci heard. Really? Yeah. Okay. How'd the uh, remix with uh, Moneybag come about? Been my man and them too. Okay. Been my people. That's what's up, man. That's what's he up. Didn't want to hop on. He got on them all. Check your Instagram out. And I seen um, Chopper Gang. You want to explain that? That's a company or what is it? Is that your yeah. brand affiliated with Gucci Man or what? No. They ain't affiliated. This my brand before Gucci Man. Okay. You got any yeah. any artists up under there? Most definitely. You want to name them? Yep. I got I got Hank. I got Walk, and I got K Cobb. Okay. Yeah, they pushing hard. Pushing hard. So what's the lead single right now we pushing? Lead one, Allegation, the one just dropped. And that's on the new, uh, is it a compilation album or more like a mixtape? Uh, this a compilation album, what you talking about, but this a single man, Big 30 just put out. Okay, Big 30, that's your artist? No. Nah. Producer? He signed, then my man. Okay. Yeah, he chopped the game too, but he signed a bread guy. All right. Yeah. And I saw the record you had with, uh, with Lil Baby, Monday to Sunday. Who put that record together for you? Uh, he did, really. He said he wanted to drop for us. He was going to do something for us. We pushed up on him. And eight while we was out there, we went to the yo. Okay. So can we expect a full-length album from you in the future? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah I'm waiting on that, man, because right now I just see a bunch of singles out right now. Yeah. And the numbers are doing crazy, man. So what are your future goals and plans when it comes to being signed to the new 1017? Man, we going up. You finna see. All right. <laughs> you just trying to do it to everybody. Everybody in the way. What's your relationship like with the other artists on the label? We tight. Solid. Yeah, most of them. Okay. All right, so since this COVID-19 has been going on, man, um, has that slowed down your process to make music? Uh, no. This, like, they make you, this should make you stock up music. Like, mm. It should make you stock up, Marie, if you know what you're doing. What's your fan base like, man? What's your DMs like? It's getting crazy, man. Okay. So you in Birmingham. So have you heard of any any artists out of Birmingham right now that's hot that you might want to work with? Uh, I, don't, I ain't just going to say no, nah, but I don't know their name by heart. If I might hear their song, and I listen to all type of music. You might tell me they from here or who y'all biggest rappers is. I'd be like, might be yeah. Might be like, yeah, but I don't know off the top of the head. No. Top five artists out right now. Out right now. Out right now. I'm gonna say me, hmm. thirty. All right. 
Scar. Big Scar. Okay. Right. Well, that's it, really. Keep it 100, man. Baby Kodak. Kodak, Kodak. All right, New Era TV, iHeartRadio, 8-3 Entertainment on the film. On this show, man, I do a segment called Straight from the Heart. I ask you a set of questions. You give me your honest answer, all right? All right. All right, question one, what's your greatest fear? Being broke. All right. Best piece of advice you've ever received? No. Stay focused, I guess. Worst advice? No. All right. No. Three things you hate about the music business. The industry ass. I'm straight on it. <laughs> Damn. All right. Move, type of move people pull. I'm straight. All right. So since August Alcina and um, Jada Pickett came out, have you had anybody wanted to do an entanglement with you? Mm, we've been having entanglement. <laughs> oh, that's saying you lit. All right. Okay. Uh, what's the most prized possession you own and you can't get rid of? My Glock. All right. I love them all. Fact. One album you can listen to the rest of your life and never get rid of? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a Lil Wayne album, I think. Call the Fire. I know it's the Call the Fire. It gotta be. Call the Fire, man. Like dedication or something like that. One dedication. The writing on it. Yeah. You talking about the writing on the wall? I don't know. But it's it like he... On the picture, he was he was right. That's the dedication. That's probably out. um I want to say that's probably the second one or the third one. I don't know, but one of them, he ain't miss a beat on that. Facts. So we at Mirage tonight. You gonna light that shit up tonight? Most definitely going up. Me, me there. Yeah, better. New ten seventeen artists in the building, man. Pooh Shiesty in this mug. Give out your social media, dog. Social media, Pooh Shiesty. P O H S H I E S T Y. Where you time? One piece of advice. One piece of advice to the fans right now, since you knew you knew to this shit. Man, keep your head on. Fact. Yep. Keep your head on and on in the field. I got to give me a ten seventeen chain, man. I'm kind of I'm kind of lonely over here right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pooh Sicey, man. Our Heart Radio DJ New Era Eight Three Entertainment. Appreciate you coming through, homie. Brr.